Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kevin Novak again. I've been getting a lot of requests for people asking for a laterite that they cannot find it to put in the biosynosis clarification baskets. So I went on the internet and started looking up laterite and did a little bit of research. And uh, what I found out is there are some substitutes that the hobbyists can buy. Um, I know that Dupla uh, many, many years ago, I actually bought Dupla was the first laterite that I could buy, was Dupla. And I had ordered from Germany in order to do my tests. So if that gives you any idea how long ago um, I did my anoxic filtration tests and all my testing on different bacteria and things like that, that uh, Dupla was the one who originally carried laterite. And it came in balls, little round balls. It looked like they took the laterite right and just rolled it in little balls and then we would put that into the biosynosis clarification baskets, the uh, 7 by 7 by 11 uh, baskets for the pond and, and when we tried it out in aquariums and things like that but that's what we used to use. Of course uh, it seems like today either maybe Dupla doesn't sell it, I, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like they still sell it. But there are other makes and brands out there that I think what they've done is they've taken the substrate, they've uh, eliminated the laterite, but they put the laterite into the substrate already. So what they want you to do is buy their substrate and you can't use your own because <clears throat> a lot of times all you have to do is you get a box of laterite, you can add it in with the substrate and uh, then you could use any substrate you want it. And let's say you wanted to use a, a flint stone or something like that, you could you could have used that. And a long time ago, that gave the option to the hobbyist to be a little more flexible in their substrates, whatever they wanted, not whatever the manufacturer deemed because of price points. And if you think about it, a bag of kitty litter, I just went to like Myers and I saw a 20 pound bag of all natural unscented kitty litter for only $3.99. And how many of these bags would you need even for an aquarium, you know, to put, up that, put as a plenum? Or uh, let's say you're going to make these biosynosis baskets, you want to put them in your tank or you're going to put them in the bottom of a sump like I show you in my videos. Um, $3.99, that's pretty cheap. And Walmart sells it, their own brand, which is just plain baked clay, non-clumping kitty litter with no perfumes but anyway uh, so you can understand why manufacturers start changing and forcing you to buy their substrates at their prices and so you're not going out and just buying a box of laterite and buying a three four dollar bag of kitty litter as your substrate and then adding the laterite in there because of how valuable the iron and magnesium, manganese is, and everything else, the trace elements that are in there for the bacteria and the plants. Okay, so anyhow, what I found to be a pretty good substrate myself, uh, if you can't get the Dupla, would be uh, fluorite. It's called fluorite premium planted substrate. As you can see here, this is off the internet. Uh, it's uh, fluorite red only. Comes in 15.4 pound bags. This one's at Pet Solution, so everybody sells it. And what you do is if you're going to add it to a plenum, you could add a quarter of an inch after you make your plenum, add a quarter of an inch of this at the very bottom, and then use any substrate you want to top it off. You know, your three or four inches or whatever then use what substrate you would like because I'm sure people don't want this red substrate. Uh, it's probably going to leach red all over your tank or whatever uh, in their tank. But if you're going to make a biosynosis clarification basket, 4x4x4 four by four by four, like I showed in my videos, then you would only need one third cup. And for those of you in Europe, that would be uh, 78 uh, milliliters of this fluorite and you would fill up your basket halfway, then add about one-third cup, and then finish filling up the basket the rest of the way with uh, kitty litter. And that's it.
you're pretty much done. It's uh, it's all that uh, the hobbyist would need to complete the biosynosis baskets without trying to find the laterite. It, it is a shame. I'm having lots and lots and lots of people asking me, I can't get the laterite. What can I substitute? Well, this video is telling you exactly what to do, how much to use. If you read my notes, I'm going to put I put it down in my notes uh, exactly how to follow it. You know, if you're going to use the fluorite premium uh, red only, do not use the other colors. Use the red, the one that has the most uh, laterite and everything in it. And it will have the most iron and things like that. If that's what you want, you want the most iron you can get into your uh, baskets. Another thing you can do too, if you want to add more iron to your baskets, you can get a little thing that uh, is called a uh, uh, an injector. Uh, and these injectors are for meats. And you buy them in a little kit, and they, they're you get the, it looks like a big, huge hypodermic, and these injectors come with these bottles of like uh, they'll have uh, butter flavor, whatever, and you can inject your your turkey with it or meat with it, and all you do is take an injector and fill it up to about the uh, half ounce mark of iron that you use liquid iron and just inject it inside the center of the basket that's another simple way of doing it or refeeding your baskets your baskets probably have to be re refed maybe once every uh year and a half two years but other than that that's about how easy it is and that's it just a short video to let you know what's going on and what you can substitute laterite with until next time this is dr novak Thank you for watching.